Okay, so this is what I'm printing for my brother. This is partial of it. I got six of these that already got done. This is for HO scale. It was made for N scale, but I blew it up to HO scale. Made this a little bit smaller. This is about 8 inches tall. These are 8 inches tall. Over here, I resin print these. Just printing these two out right here. Took about 14 hours to print. So, and I have quite a bit so 14 hours and a probably about and a half or I'm gonna say 14 and a half hours no I'm sorry 19 and a half hours to print these I had to do the bigger ones these are I forget how long they are but they are a hundred and fifty millimeters long according to what Ticker Cash said and, or yeah so and then I had to cut them in half right here to break them in half to make it fit on my resin printer so just two of these which I did two of them so I had to do four of them that took it about 14 and a half hours to do four of these pieces okay that's 14 of these I mean four of these so that's one on one side two on the other side like one two three four stack side by side and I got four of them. So that took eight pieces. So you think about it, two and two, or I did four of these on one one time, 14 and a half hours. Another 14 and a half hours when these little two bridges took 14, no, 19 hours and a half to print. One, two, three. So that's 19 hours and a half for eight, almost 20 hours. Just to print two bridges. Insane, right? So I have one, two, three. So I had to do it three times. Two, two, and two. So, how many hours is that? So after doing that, I messed up. I miscounted, so I had to cheat and use my calculator on my computers. And, whew, I was way off. Instead of being 47, it's 57. Mm, I was like, how? Oh. But, and then obviously 14, 14 is 28. So 57 plus 28, that's 85 hours I have just in resin printing. Right there. That's not including the I beams yet that I printed up. It's kind of warm in here. It's about 81 now. It was 80. These took about, I really don't know how many hours. To do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it took it. Dang, how many hours did it take? Five hours. So I'm gonna say I probably have about 95 hours all together into these I beams and also these because I can't remember. Uh, I think about five hours, maybe. Yeah, five hours. So I'm gonna say probably about 95 out, 90 hours into resin printing alone. And then these took about, I think, don't need that anymore. Three hours to print these out because they go something like this. Like that. That's how they look. And there's six of these. And I think they took about three to four hours to print. I'm going to say about four hours because my machine always adds an extra hour. So four times eight, I believe, four hours, no, oh, it's times six. So that's about, I'm going to say 24 hours right there to do six of them, I believe. Because you got four hours, then another four hours, that's eight hours there, just to print two of these. 
Nine or eight hours to print two more. That's 16 hours. And then another four, eight, nine or eight hours on top of that. So yeah, I'm gonna say about 24 hours to print six of those. That's quite a bit. Now for the um, bigger pieces, like those over there, the arch, I think it's called the arch or something like that. Now this is a project bridge that my brother did and I did for end scale. And there's the same steps, the same bridge that we did. I had to go and take a CAD and I made them a little bit better. They are actually the perfect width for the track. And they were actually spaced out like that. And all it is in Tinkercad cut all that out. But some of these, I forgot to do that to it. That's why one of these bridges has a little dip because I had to chip off the other bridge. And I forget how resin was delicate when it's hardened up. It's like pretty fragile. So, got all the pieces done. All the bridges are done. And this so far right now is at 2 hours and 4 minutes and 40 seconds. And it's only at 68%. I think it takes about 3 and a half hours. I will pick up when it's done. That way I get a full accurate reading and how long it's going to take to do 6 of these. Okay, so... To do those are three hours. They're about two hours and 57 minutes. But they're actually three. I'm going to say three hours. So times that by six is 18 hours. All together is 132 hours into this bridge. So far my brother did a good job. He's got it all laid out now. And then he's got this built. But somehow it's what? Too short? Yeah, not long enough. I if I go over that way a little bit. And it fits. And it fits, yeah. This is off by a little. So, we came up with a solution. We're going to print, I'm going to print them out. Six more I-beams and then a, like a block of square. So, it's like an I-beam, but a block all the way across. Here's what it looks like. Oh. That's funny. Okay, the computer said it would take about ten and a half hours, right? Yeah. This is according to this thing. It's saying five hours and twenty-six minutes. Oh wow. So, I guess a little bit different settings than yeah. anything else. That ain't too bad. This is my third one. Um, yeah. Print, third. Yeah, third one printing out, and I found a thing. For my end scale, I'm going to give you an update. So, I've been looking around and I found some hammocks. And I can't wait. I'm excited to print some of these out for end scale. I have two of them. Some tanks I got. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, spine car of a 53 foot trailer. So here you got some semi trailers and everything to put them together. Even the trucks. Exactly what I needed right there. Can't find them anywhere else. But this person, he made them and the wheels that go with it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to print the wheels along with the trucks that I use. So that way I know I'm getting the correct thing. And I can only switch out one of the wheels with the couplers for a different one but I don't know how he's got it set up yeah it's a little bit different there because the other ones will go up in the air so maybe I can do that too because I gotta figure out the coupler height that's gonna be fun so I have quite a bit of stuff for in scale like an auto rack that I'm gonna do which I have to shrink the auto rack a little bit meaning like had to cut one part and shrink it upward a little bit because it won't fit in my resin printer. And I want the detail. But I might try to film it and see how that looks. 
made a comparison. Film it to this, to resin. Be kind of cool. And I got quite a bit of stuff yet, like a hopper, uh, bab. I can't even pronounce the name, but it's cut a hopper. Looks like one of those. I'm excited. So if I made one, and I'm really excited to try that out. If it it's, it's like a resin print. If I want it to, I can do all of it. But we'll see how I feel. And then I got uh, how no police station in here. Something right here it is. See if it has an image of it. So that's what the police station is going to be because I don't have one of those. And I also have a couple ideas for my castle theme. Which is going to look something like kind of like this around the castle area. Gives it that look I'm looking for. I just got to figure out the size I want. That's the only issue yet. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Well, here's the finished product. My brother got it all put together. This vision from N scale to H O scale. Now you might ask, how'd you do this? Well, thanks to Tinkercad, but from N scale to H O scale, exactly. Let's see. If you go from H O scale to N scale, it's 54 percent. Okay. Now you have to figure out from N scale. To HO, so I had to take do some math, and from 54% to back up to 100 is 46. So you add that 46, so 146, uh -huh. it would be HO scale. And then after you do the 130, or was it 136? No, it's always 146. I always get those two mixed up. And then that's what gives you the ASO scale version, which, as you can see here, the track looks perfect on it. So, if you guys stay tuned where this is going, this is going for our club group layout. My brother has this. I did the same bridge as you remember for HO scale or N scale, the double side, and also I turn it into the single track. Well, we did it for bigger. Now, you can't really see it. But right here, I had to do the d double part. Ripley, drinking his water too fast. Can't really see the crack. Right there. Oh, that looks cool. So that's where the crack is at. I had to take this, split it, so I can resin print this. Because it does a nicer job. The resin does do a good job, but it is more fragile. <laughs> that's cool. That'd be funny to have one of them right there, you know? <laughs> So, and somehow these parts are off a little bit. We don't know how. So this is his, our solution and his came up with that. Got a support beam right there and the two I-beams. And it came out really great right there. So each one has that to fix that area. And we still don't understand how that is like that we don't know don't bother me any it's no prototypical, so. yeah as long as it functions and works that's all that matters and this thing came out looking awesome so now we just uh, stay tuned until you see part two where this is going okay everybody you ready for the actual final product review my brother just got done putting the bridge on the layout so I'm going to show you a glimpse of the small pieces that we did. Oh, almost got the big bridge. And he bought this G.I. Joe train off of a buddy of ours with, like, what, quite a bit more stuff? Yeah, it was like 30 bucks for a whole big box and that was that. Yeah, which is pretty cool. A G.I. Joe train. I don't know if this is the whole set. Yes. Oh, it isn't? Okay. Yeah. You get a little action figure. Just put them in I there, too. I those when I was a kid. I know, same here. Which, I didn't know they made the G.I. Joe train until gosh they even got the transformer train too we're no kidding yes hmm so do i that's worth a lot of money though that is cool those are the small pieces that look like right there those pieces as you can see from here to here miniature piece i need a 3d printed hand no way to point yeah, oh yeah, oh that'd be there, cool. I see people do it too. There's a guy I watch on TikTok, he's a truck driver and he's got, he's got a 3D hand. 
And I thought about doing that too, like a little tiny baby hand or something yeah. like that, pointing to stuff. So he's got the bridge that he had for a while. So anyway, let's get to the big view. Oh my gosh. This does not do it justice. Good gravy. I'm in there editing my this video and it's like this can't be the ending of it. I gotta show more what it actually looks like. Gosh. This looks gorgeous. I'm gonna pull a prank on tomorrow. I'm gonna tell the guys who can't run trains. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be funny. Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday, Edison. Yeah, so I will put a link in the description. This is mainly. Oh, I don't think I ever showed the N scale one. No. Actually, this is the N scale version. The, yes. There's a milk crate, you just take the vacuum cleaner off it. So there is the actual double track sided, what it would look like. And then my brother, he goes, it'd be kind of cool if he could take that into a single track. I did that too. And the coolest thing is you can do that in Tinkercad or what's it called, Mixer? Yeah. I think it's like another Slicer program. And you can cut it down what you want and get rid of the other side track and you just have one little side. This was a pain in the butt to do though. 15 hours in the print one of those. Uh, I think it was 19 hours actually. Was it 19? 16 or 19 hours just to print the bottom piece. These other ones are all filament. Yeah. And so... He goes, I like how this looks. And he goes, is there any way you can find that bridge again and see if we can do it in HO scale? I was like, I don't know if I can. So I did some digging around and I found the bridge. It's uh, it's for in scale. And all you gotta do is, in the one slicer program, you just blow it up to 146%. So at in scale size is already at 100 percent so all you gotta do is add the 46 percent and it blows it back up to ho because from ho it's at 100 percent and you knock it down to 54 to make it in scale well you just do the map and add what you want and it's 146 percent so uh 46 makes exactly back up to 100 from 54 there you go that's how i learned and did it and this thing came out gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't put the vines. I see the vines, yeah, and here and here, a little bit, a little bit around there. That's cool. I like that too. What was not fun is putting the grass underneath there and trying to put the glue in there. <laughs> oh, oh, I could imagine how that would feel like. And after you did this, I was saying like, man, it'd be kind of cool to do it to my end scale, but I was like, no, I like my trestle bridge. Yeah. That was a lot of work and a lot of hours into that. But yeah. I wish I had my flashlight, but fortunately my phone's almost dead. But it's fine. I can see this fine though. And tomorrow I'll be putting some trees in there and stuff. Yeah. Now you just gotta take the backdrop and make it different to actually make this theme really pop out. Yeah. Because. Yeah, because I mean I I like how the trees came out and stuff like that, but the way the mountain looks, it just doesn't look um, satisfying. So, yeah, that definitely does need to be popped out, though. So, yeah. And I can see it now, like, have, like, uh, almost, like, a hilly side with, like, the can like Grand Canyon kind of looks like. This is how this gives it the feel, like, the yeah. western time, and you got, like, the little brown hill side or, like, a canyon going on. Oh, my God, that looked great. And this is actually real red dirt. Real red dirt. I'll be dipped. I watched way too much Spice Group Garage. From South Carolina. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's where it came from, but remember the campground we stopped in? Oh, yeah! King, uh, coast of King's Island, wasn't it? Uh, close, oh, no. Because uh, uh, we was only... How far were we? South Carolina. That's where Merrill Beach is at, right? Yeah. So it was in... So oh, I missed that sand. We had that sand, but... I still got it. Yeah, I don't even know where mine went. <laughs> yeah, I know where a bunch of it is. Okay. And seashells. I don't know what we're going to do with a bunch of seashells. Yeah, of course, this goes back when... How do you drink back to us? Yeah. Yeah? That goes There's back when we were kids, though. So. seashells, and there are people called the clam sh or, uh, mus mussels or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I want to put in there. I want to put in there. 
but yep i figured I'd give you all an update what it looks like and can't wait to run a train on this and get some good shots and video and pictures of this that's what i'm doing tomorrow oh yeah thanks for watching us see you all next time